Chelsea's way with 90 seconds gone. That's cleared by the captain, uh, Liam Donnelly. And he'll get his left boot to the ball. Just look a little bit, sixes and sevens, Fulham at the moment. I think if we can contain the shape of the side and keep the ball moving, we could take advantage from this early start. The Silver gets it in to Colkett, who, of course, has been in excellent goal-scoring form. And he tests Marek Roda. And him into the strike, and that's why it probably wasn't as good as we've seen him in the past. But great start by Chelsea. Really have taken the game to Fulham. Of course, uh, Charlie scored in both legs of the semi against Arsenal. Here he is again. Now it's Ruben Loftus-Cheek, captain throughout this Youth Cup campaign. Gets it out to Izzy Brown. This, this is really good, uh, Gary. Very good, patient around the box. You know, it's lovely to see. Decent ball in as well. That was so in Cambo, guided down by De Silva. Loftus-Cheek with a barnstorming run into the box, and it's straight at Rodak again, but Chelsea have made a fabulous start here. Well, the kinetic than it was. And at the moment, it's important that Chelsea just keep a good shape to the side, because I think you've got to be aware of Dembele. You know, he could suddenly come alive. Great ball by Jim. Out to Izzy Brown. Could take it on here. Scooped away by Rack. Well, scooped away. Well, I mean, it wasn't the best of shots, but bang on target by Izzy. That's the question of the goalkeeper. Brown then looking for Halton. Well, we'll take the corner on under those circumstances, but. Aina once more. Now Halton. That's a decent enough shot, isn't it? Just always helping out and making sure. A comfortable start for Bradley Collins. But he may have work to do here. Feynman wins it back and finds Dembele. Almost a lucky ricochet off Christensen and Dembele. Well, he's put into trouble, wasn't he, Andres Christensen? But defended absolutely. Played by the boot of Liam Donnelly. Header on by Dembele for Pat Roberts. Neatly played by Roberts, who scored a hat trick against Spurs earlier in the competition. He's gone down, penalty. Had to be, didn't it? He's done well there, Roberts, hasn't he? he just cut across Oller as he's come back trying to get back into position. Well, we've not seen a lot from him, but when he sparkles, I mean, that's super play by the young man. And we see him just nutmeg Jake as well. Cuts across Oller. Contacts there. We'll see why the referee who is in a good position. It's uh, Moussa Dembele against Bradley Collins on his Youth Cup debut. Oh, he's missed! Oh, he tried an impudent chip. What a thing to do in a Youth Cup final, and he missed the target. Goodness me, I have never seen anything like this at this level of football in such an important competition. Absolutely awful. I can't imagine what the backroom staff are saying. Steve. Just sometimes we seem to be getting into the right areas. Just not quite getting that final ball to find a blue shirt in front of goal, but we feel like a goal is going to make a big difference and it could come our way. Alton looking for Jada Silva. Could he be in behind here? He's pulled it back for Solanke, cleared off the line. Brown, oh, really good defending. I think that was Cameron Burgess denying a certain goal. Solanke's first chance and he so nearly buried it. And again, Jada Silva just gets in behind, doesn't he? And he's done it two or three times, and I'm sure Fulham might look at that come half-time and might try and close that door. But he's done ever so well to find Solanke. He doesn't quite get the sweetest strikes on his left foot, but certainly troubled the goal, and defender on the line just stops it, and Izzy Brown can't quite put it in, but one of the biggest threats so far. He's got a lot of joy down the left, hasn't he, De Silva? And he's got it again here. 
Shackleford just hasn't got tight enough to him at all. Brown goes in, and then so too does Charlie Colkett. Corner. It's ended up a good save, isn't it? And all of a sudden... Bradley Collins couldn't have asked for a much more straightforward first half so far. That's interesting, isn't it? He hasn't had a save to make, and yet when he's... What a ball that is. Here goes Solanke, has to hit it first time. And uh, Rodak makes the save. Well, we saw it in the semi-final, didn't we? Joe Clark Salter with his pass in through the middle there, bisecting defences time and time again in the semis against the Arsenal. And he's done it again there. I mean, super ball th through for Solanke. Does the right thing. Dominic gets his head down, bang on target. Here's Isaac Sowen-Cambo. Could fall nicely here for Halchin, and the deflection takes it over. His reaction suggests it was on target. Tough lad, Izzy Brown. Maybe a chance then for us just before the half time whistle. Well, the header is Martin, wasn't it? So easy though, Lee. Doesn't want to have to come off in the final, having played such a key role in getting Fulham there. Here goes Loftus Cheek. Great ball to De Silva. Solanke waiting for a cross. De Silva waiting for his captain to have a crack, and instead he hits it into the Chelsea supporters. Williams. Which was by Christensen, who was terrific in the first half. Izzy Brown. Great run. Now De Silva. Oh, he's drilled it brilliantly! What a fabulous strike from Jay De Silva. Everyone waiting for a cross. He had other ideas and absolutely leathered it home to give Chelsea the lead. That's an absolutely wonderful strike by Jay De Silva, isn't it? No chance for the goalkeeper at all. As you say, Gary, I think people were looking for a cross, but he's made his mind up. Super run by Izzy Brown. Allowed to turn just over halfway, and he's just run at the heart of the Fulham defence, and he's committed players to defend the ball. And by doing that, it's left Jay in a great position. And again, we talked about the fullback in the first half. Shackleford, I don't think he actually knows how to deal with him, and again, doesn't get close enough to Jay. Stands off him and allows him the opportunity to strike, and it's a super finish right into the bottom corner, which gives the goalkeeper no chance at all. It's a lovely, clean, true strike of the ball. Pass Rodak before he could react, really. That's in this competition. And it could be in again here with Solanke. Well, he got there ahead of Liam Donnelly. He's unlucky here, Dominic. I don't think this is on for a shot, but I'll tell you what, he's manufactured one. He's just running away from me. He's not quite there for a shot, but he's trying to steer it into the... Fifth corner for Chelsea. Into a great area, and the header was from Sowen Cambo. He's unlucky, isn't he? Just trying to steer it in the far bottom corner. Surprisingly, Fulham got nobody on that corner, flat, uh, corner post. As it comes in, Sam Cambo with a clean header. Sixth corner for Chelsea. Oh, keeper under tremendous pressure, and there was no whistle. And he's up with Solinke, eventually headed over. Yeah, it didn't look like he was uh, going to dominate Dominic. Normally, that's given as a foul most uh, football grounds, but. There's a push by Dom, but the goalkeeper does get two good fists on it. He's on his fresh legs. O'Halloran to take the corner. Oh, it's into a great area. And headed home by Dembele, who atones for his shocking penalty miss in the first half. A crashing header to make it 1-1. That's a great finish, isn't it? But more about the delivery. Just saying that Dino Haller had made a big difference to the time that he's been on the field of play. Injection of pace, but all about delivery, this one. 
super ball in. Richardson just gets underneath it slightly, and Dembele in the right place steers is it. Oh, that's Bradley Collins. Oh, we're back on level terms. Just got half a yard on Chris at this time. Rodak saved it. Palmer couldn't get the shot away because Sambu was in the way. Typically robust Chelsea response to the Fulham goal, but here comes Williams. Hindman takes it on. Oh, it's deflected home, I think. Fulham have scored twice in the space of two minutes. This time it's Emerson Hindman. Bradley Collins appeared to be wrong-footed. What a big, big blow for Chelsea, that is. That's amazing, isn't it? The game turned completely on its head in a couple of moments. I thought he made the wrong decision here by coming inside towards the Chelsea players, but there we see the deflection of Christensen. It's in the back of the net, nothing that Bradley could do. He's going the wrong way, has to react. Unfortunately, from Fulham's perspective, it's gone off inside the post, and there's nothing you can do when it's deflected like that. Yeah, and again, this is the one where you've got to focus and concentrate. Donnelly with the header and guided home by Burgess. It's 3 1 to Fulham. The two centre backs combine. Well, they've done it throughout the evening, and Chelsea have been caught out this time. Well, that's disappointing again from a corner. Losing our marker. Nothing that Collins could do. He decides that Sam Cambo loses his man at the far post. It's a simple header back across the goal. Just a question of who's following in and who gets to it first. It's a Fulham head. It's a simple run here. Sam Campbell just not even looking at the ball. Loses his marker. Simple goal. Disappointing. Well, it's something they've worked on Fulham. One central defender goes to the back stick, the other one goes to the front stick. And they just weren't picked up on this occasion. Burgess scoring his second goal of this Youth Cup run, and Chelsea have got it all to do. Well, it's a big, big last eight and a half minutes or so here. The only thing you say is all is not lost. You know, we prove we can play better and cause all sorts of problems for Fulham, but... The Saunders cross, the Silva coming in. Good save by Rodak. That was a good save, he's got across his goal very, very well here, the goalkeeper. Super ball in by Charlie Masonda. Jay can't do any more than that, head into the ground and try and force the goalkeeper to make a save. Corner. Eighth corner. Just sailed over the head of Aina. Comes out to the edge of the box where Palmer was waiting. It's Palmer's cross, but in front of Christensen, can it be retrieved here by Masonda? To his captain, Loftus Cheek. Asonder again. He's waiting to pull the trigger and he scored! There's the goal back that Chelsea wanted. It's Charlie Masonda. 3 2. Fabulous finish, isn't it? By Charlie, I said he was a box of tricks. And he's got the ball in a super area here and just not panicked. He knows what he wants to do. And he's teased the defender. They've left him one on one, which isn't a good idea. And they've got bodies there to close down. Charlie's just worked his way into the box and struck it sweetly via the goalkeeper into the back of the net. And just what we needed. Just prove that we can go on and score goals against Fulham. Not too sure about the goalkeeping, but super. Goal kick with the 10th Chelsea corner. It's a deep one. It's cleared and just wide. Oh, it's a good hit, and Rodak wasn't at all sure that this was going wide from Palmer. Good strike from Casey, isn't it? It's a super oh, save, good isn't save. it? Good strike, difficult uh, technique to get this on target, but he's done well. And you have to give the goalkeeper some credit. It's a super.